Hello, and welcome to Sci-Fi Wire's Who Won the Week. I am Jackie Jennings, and I am here with Danny Roth, who is a contributing editor for Sci-Fi Wire and host of the Who Won the Week podcast. Wow, which one am I better at? I'm going to go with both. And speaking of both, we both saw Hereditary this week, and my review is I'm still cleaning out my pants. This is really scary. Oh, I'm cleaning out my pants for completely different reasons. In all seriousness, I loved a lot of the performances in this movie, especially Toni Collette. She is incredible. Yeah, agree. And here's some great alternate titles for this movie to give you an idea of what it's about. United States of Terror Season 10, Gabriel Burns No Good Very Bad Day, and it's kind of like the ice storm meets Rosemary's Baby, so I'm going to call it Ice Baby. Ooh, I really like that one. Yeah, it is a family drama masquerading as the scariest movie you have ever seen. Super dark. Yes, and speaking of dark, we'll move on to a show that is both darker and lighter. So good. You're gonna see why, because we're talking about Cloak and Dagger. The first two episodes dropped on Freeform this week, and I really enjoyed them. What did you think? Agree, and I love it most when you have both of the leads in scenes together. Again, the performances are super strong here. Aubrey Joseph, who is Cloak, and Olivia Holt, who is Dagger, are awesome. And my one, I guess, complaint was that I wanted to see them together more, which I think happens in upcoming episodes. Yeah, totally. And you know what? They took a lot of liberties from the comics, but I actually liked all of them. Yeah, they made really good choices. It is for a younger audience. Like us. We're two youths, young, young, young youths. Yeah. To high school. Lockers. I don't know, I'm old. Okay, so Danny, who won your week? Was it Hereditary or Cloak and Dagger? I'm gonna give it to Cloak and Dagger. I like Cloaks and Daggers more than I like clucking children. Let us know in the comments who won your week and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss any Sci-Fi Wire updates. Hit that bell.